Hello, Swaggercraft people. What's up? Uh, I'm Robert Martin. Anyways, uh, I figured I'd give you guys all a tip and uh, show you how I made, or just what the underground part of my cave spider spawner looks like. This is a triple cave spider spawner. Um, so, this, we had one on the last map, and uh, it was a lot more simple. Because, oh, oh I'm glitching a block. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 stop. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, okay. There we go. So, um, in our, uh, in our last map, they were kind of in a circle, so we didn't have overlapping spawners like this. But anyways, what we did from each cave spider spawner, we dug down 16 blocks, uh, or more. From the lowest one, we did 16 blocks, and then we made them all go to the same Y, uh, as you can see. Then, uh, then we found out where all of the, uh, all of the spawners are active when we're standing there, and it is about a certain amount of blocks up from here. So this is where our elevator's gonna be with the cave spiders. Uh, I'm just showing you this part first because then it's gonna be a bit a lot harder to get back down here. Uh, I'm gonna break that torch. And so basically, uh, once I put all this water in, cave spiders are gonna be forced down here. From this one, they're either going to be on this side or this side, and then they're going to be pushed either up here, and then they'll just meet up with these ones, or to here, which would be its own personal stream. Say this wasn't here, the entire thing would just look like this. Then water, push them here, or they get pushed there, then here. It's pretty simple, but I guess a lot of people don't know how to do this. Obviously, the elevator is the much harder part, so I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh... So yeah, then just do 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 do. These guys will get pushed into here, and yeah, it's that easy. And the signs are holding this water in place. So yeah, this is also uh, I should mention. Uh, one second, I'll just use that. This is two blocks deep. I'm not really sure wh why I cannot remember, but when I first learned how to do this, I was told it needs to be too deep. I don't think it does, but I'm pr I, I do it just in case, you know, superstitious. Also, this has to be 16 blocks below, because when you're standing up there, uh, the, the spiders will track you through walls, no matter what the block type is. So, uh, so yeah, has to be 16 blocks down. The elevator still works when you're being tracked. That's a big function. Anyways, I think, uh, I didn't look at this. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go back up to the surface and look at a couple things, and then I'll be back. Okay, sorry, I had to look at some stuff, but right here is where I want uh, is where I want what is it called? The middle of the elevator to be. So. I've put a sign and a stair leading up into it, so it's gonna go like this, but, uh, give me a block. And, I'm trying to remember this off the top of my head. I've actually only done this once before. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I need fences. I have fences. Okay. So, this will go here, and there's gonna be a fence there. And what you're gonna do, is you're gonna keep digging up Three by three. I dig a little part to the side and use this. Uh, and how this is gonna work. In the next one, you'll have no. I'm sorry. Uh, give me a second to think about this. Okay, sorry. I've got this now. So uh, what we're gonna do with these blocks? Uh, so we have it where we enter. Then we're gonna place water there. And how we're going to do this with only two buckets, we're going to place water there, and grab it back. This became an infant source, but now it's not, and then grab it again, and it's like it's only been one. And you'll get used to the pattern like this. Wait, hold up. 
Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, so we're going to put a fence there and a block there. And now what we do is we put water there, there, grab that piece, grab that piece, and put a fence there. Then we uh, do the same thing here. We there, there, grab that, grab that. Wait. Oh, no. So, I'm sorry. No, that should have worked. Oh, we have to cover this up first. There we go. So now we uh, place water. Oh, alright. I'm sorry. This block has to be covered. And then this will be uncovered. There we go. Then we uh, place water here, here. Take that, take that, and that. There we go. Block above this, block above that. Break these again. And there you go. And you'll just three blocks, boom, fence. And now watch, you and cave spiders can get up this gap in between the fences. And that's why it works perfectly. There you go. And you just repeat that as high as you need to go. I will see you when I am uh, done. Well, when I'm as high as I need to go. Yeah. Woo! We are being raided! We are being raided! Okay, so... Uh, I've reached the elevator as high as I want it to go, and, uh, before I go up there, and, uh, uh, what? Is that an iron block? I didn't even see those in there. Crap. Uh, I was just taking all the crap I didn't mind despawned. Oh, uh, where is it? Give me it. Okay. Um, that would have been bad if I let that despawn. Okay. Um, so I have put all of the stuff in the stuff and uh, I'm going to put the water in sorry I really lost my train of thought there people started breaking into our base but we got rid of them it's alright no hard feelings we really don't mind um, and yeah now we're going to put in all the water and then we are going to uh, I'm really stumbling over my words. I'm so sorry. Okay, we're putting in the water. Then I'm going to go show you how to do the very top of your elevator, and then we'll do the crusher. Um, why isn't this working? Okay, well, I'm going to do this then. I'll be back. Okay, so we just fought off a few guys uh, who were trying to get in. AGC, I think their name is. AGC, I don't know. Are they? Uh, yeah, AGC. Anyways, uh, so... On the very top block, instead of a fence, you're going to want an iron gate for them to get up. Uh, hmm. uh, this is so the block up here doesn't stop them. I, I, I'm not really sure why, but once again, that one has to be an iron block. Then they get up here, they just get pushed, and this can, only, this can be one high, so because uh, it doesn't matter because they're only one high. Then an iron... Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. And, uh, and you're gonna have an iron bar here. And, uh, yeah. Then they're gonna, they're gonna be tracking you at this point from there. And they will, wa they will, uh, climb up and they'll be stuck in this block. So from, from here, they're just gonna be up there and you can punch them. But obviously they're not one hit. That's why we need the Crusher. Okay, so. For the spawner. For the spawner, we need... 13 redstone repeaters. Redstone. Oh, I forgot to make pistons. Three sticky pistons. And. Da, 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 da. We need uh, stuff and boobs. And, oh, God, I can't speak. I'm sorry. You need five redstone torches. I think. We'll see. So, uh. I'm gonna build it off this side. Usually I'd build it off this side. This is my first time going from this side, but there's no difference. So I'm going to, uh, in these blocks, right her, where'd that torch go? Oh, I need to go make the pistons. Okay, so I am going to, uh, 
place two sticky pistons. This can be done with one, but when I did it with one, I found it started glitching, and it was just a lot easier just to put both in. So, put two pistons like that. And those are the blocks that are going to crush. So, it's going to push those two blocks and crush all the spiders right here. Um, then, out of this, probably right here, we'll put our button. Uh, let's make our button. We'll put it on a wooden block just so it stands out more. There we go. Um, oh, ow. That's painful. I have to make sure I seal all this off because those, uh, those guys keep coming back, whatever their names are. I don't even know. I ain't even mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> no. It's, it sucks because I'm actually doing this in survival. I would show you guys in creative, but I... This is just for the server, so... Love you guys. Anyways. So right here, we have the, uh... Pistons. And we are going to have... Our redstone... Oh, crap. No, that shouldn't matter. We're just gonna have this go down a block. And this go down another block. Yeah, come on. Stop that. There we go. That'll be fine. And, uh, this is just gonna go around like that. Now, when we press this button, those two should push. There we go. The idea here is to have it so there's an RS NOR latch connected to this, which we will do by going like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me replace that torch. We're going to place a redstone torch on the underneath side of that, and then one right there as well. And what that is going to do is going to be a nice little compact RS NOR latch. This, when powered, is going to spread off into 13 uh, repeaters. Oh, okay. So I've run into my other mob spawner, but that's easy. I can just twirl her back around. Actually, I think I... Oh, oh, sorry. Instead, I'm going to just go this way. And then come back around. But you can literally do this in any way, as long as you have all 13 repeaters down. Um, yeah, that's, this is fine. Uh, I'm gonna go get another pick and also lay down these 13 repeaters. I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, that was actually a bit more difficult than it should have been, just because I was too stubborn to expand this room more. But it's it, all it is is just the repeaters laid out. They follow this path and they go like this. And then this repeater powers this block, which powers this redstone, which goes through there, and then comes over here. And these two don't connect because I put this block here. which then connects to this. Now, let's test it. So this is retracted, we push the button, it pushes in, and it pulls out. Obviously that's not long enough because these aren't on the fourth tick. So now you gotta set all these on the fourth tick. Alright, so I've set all mine on the fourth tick, and it pushes in for much longer, and that is the ideal amount. I'm going to... Ooh, F who, um, no thank you. Well, we'll see. Um, anyways, yeah, so, that's been done, and now we can seal this off. I'd like to get a cave spider in here to test, but my spawners aren't active yet. Um, and the last, uh, last piece on the agenda is right here. This this lever really could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be right there. I forgot to mention you're going to need a lever. I don't even have mine yet. I hate this glitch. There we go. 
Okay, so this is basic. All it is. I just gotta seal this off. You're gonna have a uh, block here, and this is where your last sticky piston comes in. No, I might have to go up like this. Um, let me try. Yeah. So you put the sticky piston there with the cobblestone piece above it. This here, redstone there. Seal this up. Place your lever down. And now, uh, once you have your spiders in here, you're going to flick this, cuts it off so no more will come in. Hit this, boom, crushes them. Da -da -da. You can put a block here to cover that up. But uh, also, I suggest removing these blocks kind of like that because the loot will sometimes get stuck in those blocks. I'll seal it all off. There you go. Okay. So yeah, it's that easy. Uh, nope. And there you go. You got yourself a spawner. Or a crusher. And a spawner, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and then once you're done killing them, you just flick this again. All the loot that wasn't originally dropped will flow down, and all the new set of spiders will come out. And yeah, so the only other piece of advice is to build this eight blocks away from each spawner, at least eight blocks, because if cave spiders are within eight blocks of the original spawner, or any cave spider spawner, then it'll stop spawning. That is pretty easy, though, because eight blocks is a very short amount of blocks. That's like... It's like to here, from there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go activate my spawners, and I'll show you guys how this is working. And it works. Yay!